Hello, today's video topic is uh, colonic polyps, colon polyps. Uh, in the previous videos, we have seen what is what, what are polyps. Polyp is nothing but a uh, aggregation or clumps of uh, cluster of cells. It will look like a you know very small. They will be very tiny. They look like a, a cauliflower. If you look at in a naked eye, they will be very small. You know, cauliflower like structure that is called polyps, or you can even say. A, uh, pimple you can you know kind of thing they can appear anywhere in the body but if it happens in the colon we give little importance to that why simple reason is uh, like uh, first thing is if you have a colon polyp you don't have to panic or you don't worry because most of the people think all polyps can lead to you know complication or cancer or something no most of the time 90% of the polyps are non-cancerous we can divide the polyps in the colon polyps generally into cancerous and non-cancerous and usually uh, 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 you know the, the why they happen mostly because of the dividing cells that there is a mutation uh, the, the DNA level the dividing cells uh, some mutation happening so the clumps of tissues are happening so they're all because they can you can you know classify them into inflammatory hyperplastic or even hematomatous you know this kind of classification they give but generally we divide into cancerous and non-cancerous and most of the time they are non-cancerous and who are the you know the risk factor or who all can develop uh, polyps anyone can develop polyps but generally if you have more than 50 years and uh, you have a, a smoking alcohol habits if you are obese if you are constipated or if you have a family history these are the people uh, uh, that are more prone for uh, uh, the polyps, colon polyps. Uh, coming to the cancerous polyps, we, the, the, there are so many things are there, but generally FAP, familial adenomatous polyposis. Uh, this is a type of polyp that happens usually in the family, occurs in the families. Uh, it develops in the teenage time, you know, the, 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 the 20s. And by the time they reach 40 years, most of the polyps turn into cancer. So these are, this is the only uh, a main reason uh, we are worried about the familial polyposis or the uh, uh, you know, this, this type of polyps are the only one which are prone for cancer so all others you don't have to worry suppose what are the symptoms they can give you most of the time most of the time uh, your bowel habits can change either you have a constipation or even a diarrhea uh, because of some certain secretions you may get a diarrhea or even constipation and you most of the time they can bleed when they bleed uh, you can see frank bleeding or the more uh, blood mixed motion can come uh, they can give you pain uh, uh, they can change into a tumor like uh, you know uh, growth so these are the things that can happen because of that how to diagnose usually suppose you have a family history it's better you know we have a certain testing the dna testings are available where we can you know test you and tell you okay you are prone for polyposis and you can go into cancer all this so dna testing is available this is mainly for the familial type the other things generally colonoscopy the simple easiest and 100 uh, percent easy way to find a, a colon polyps are colonoscopy colonoscopy is through your uh, the endoscopy is introduced through your anus you can go through all that large intestine and see whether you have a single polyp or you have multiple polyps or in one area or different areas suppose there is only one polyp it is very easy you can snare it you can easily cut when we doing the colonoscopy itself so that is called polypectomy or suppose you have in one area two three that also can be snared out suppose it involves multiple uh, sites in the large colon itself descending colon, transverse colon, ascending colon, rectum, sigma, you know if so many areas are uh, involved then what we do usually we send the either if you do a polypectomy we send it for biopsy or even multiple areas we take one uh, polyp and send it for biopsy and if it turns out to be uh, you know cancerous, non-cancerous, familial type all these things when we see then the treatment options differ. Suppose it involves certain one localized area and causing complications like bleeding, pain, or some you know uh, uh, chances of malignancy. Then we can do a limited resection that particular 
call it. Or suppose somebody has a, a familial adenomatous spot with FAP type, then probably even sometimes we can uh, suggest colectomy. So people, uh, 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 how to prevent? You know, most of the people ask us how to prevent uh, uh, not getting you know polyps. Uh, simple way is uh, keep your bowel soft and regular. That means avoid constipation. Uh, mainly take a lot of fibers, a lot of vegetables, and avoid definitely. Uh, uh, high, uh, reduce salt intake and avoid smoking alcohol keep your weight in the normal range keep exercise uh, keep doing exercise uh, this is how we can you know prevent the uh, uh, occurrence of polyps the familial type you don't have any control on your body but only we, what we can do is you can do a DNA testing and you can you know uh, go for a, a regular colonoscopy uh, you can kept in the surveillance and we can prevent the polyps happening. So to avoid polyps, generally we say have a healthy diet and regular simple I um, mean regular uh, um, bowel habits, stop alcohol, stop smoking and very importantly reduce your salt intake. Thank you.